Hello beta testers. If you're still playing Marvel's Avengers, then you're experiencing some, if not all, of these bugs. Andy Wong of Crystal Dynamics team lets you know in the most recent dev stream that resources are finite. Exactly what you want to hear about a three villain Marvel game so buggy nine months after launch that you're still getting drops of useless 127 and 129 gear even if you're at max level. You're getting rewarded grays for mission completion, if you're getting anything at all. The paid microtransactions are still bugged, and UI stupidity means that what you see isn't what you get. Did I mention the bug that doesn't allow people to progress past the first wave in that repurposed test room? Oh, it's painted red, by the way. Maybe you saw my stream because I was one of the people who couldn't progress. Crystal Dynamics has made it clear that they will not fix or extend the event. And if you miss out, <laughs> bro, it, it is what it is, you know what I mean? Th that's what they say. If it didn't work for you, better luck next time. You honestly couldn't have expected more from the tone-deaf developers who think that the ability to choose the same character is a feature, who took half a year to implement a campaign replay, you still can't even choose the specific missions like they pretended you could before launch, and here's my real favorite. They removed the universally despised Mega Hive because bugs, only to bring it back, and it's still buggy. Like this video, because you're witnessing history. Forever ago, I made it apparent how broken the champion system is, and more importantly, after showing the math that many of you wonderful beta testers in the community shared, I expressed just how unprofitable it would be if paid boosters make it to the marketplace. But remember, XP is confusing and overwhelming. Those are Crystal Dynamics' own words. They thought you were too stupid to test, but oops. You were not, so you did. And when their personal attempt to confuse and overwhelm you failed, after saying that it was working as intended, they have now suddenly backpedaled. Even the defenders jumped up to parrot the kind of crap right out of their Bible's commandments on how it's just numbers. But like the ego in a toaster ass motherfuckers they are, suddenly they have reached the same conclusion. It seems the people with more passion were right to assess that numbers, in fact, did matter. Much respect, Godslave, and thank you to everyone who is making their stance known. Because you are what is bringing about change, not the people who call everything a dub or consume everything and make excuses for a game in this state. Eight months after launch, that's still wiping people's progress. You are all paid beta testers. And maybe, just maybe, with the finite resources that some of us have as it pertains to money to spend on an escape in, in a video game, we might expect this to function. On Twitter, in response to Crystal Dynamics' Andy Wong saying, going forward, we're gonna let people know in advance on Discord whether or not the stream has actual updates or is just a hangout, I responded, Bugged paid microtransactions, bugged drops, wiped progress, and working as intended to the bugged champion system? Eight months in, you're hanging out on stream, spotlighting people like Suki, while banning people asking about colorblind modes for the Red Room? And yes, this is that Suki that in the official Marvel's Avengers Discord constantly dumped gems like I want to reach through the screen and punch Kaio. This is who they spotlight. I go on to say, tell whoever the community manager is that the community includes people who don't cheer at the word soon to your nine month broken live service. When microtransactions appear differently after purchases and broken modes come and go without a fix. Even your chosen favorites don't like that. The tweet by Andy Wong has since been deleted, and if this is bullying my dude, I don't know what the world has come to. Your game doesn't work. And I obviously do not agree with or condone any hostility towards a group or individual, but whoever's job it is to address people should fulfill whatever responsibilities comes with that position instead of trying to cultivate the safest of spaces in which only your appointed creators can speak. Because they don't represent the community, homie. And all you're making is a support group for people to ask each other why nobody plays this game. Spoiler alert, it's because it's ugly and broken. The broken part people might be able to deal with, but the ugly part? 
You you went out of your way to make Marvel ugly, bro. What what have you you massacred my boy? The screenshots from within your echo chamber of people calling people bigots and stalkers and bullies, they're all out there for whoever needs to see it. When people retaliate against these people and their false claims, you ban them, Crystal Dynamics, but your favorites receive no consequence. We see you. You know, I could fart out a list of things that could instantly make your game better with minimal effort, but I guess I'm not exclusively positive enough for you to actually listen. And I should be glad. A lot of us have been giving you free consultation and it feels good to watch you not only ignore the blueprints of games that have done it better before you, but ignore us when we know better than you. And that's the wild part, is we know better than you. You're literally planning to raise the level cap, but you won't just allow exotics to drop from anywhere the way that they should in your looter game. Your loot tanks still dropping blues out here but then again everybody's getting rewarded grays there's no crafting no recalibration there's not even re-rolling i mean but you're still forcing solo modes on these good people and you can't even command your ai companions to alt you have no idea how much that would transform solo play but you can't figure that out or is it not as important as nerfing the xp so that you can get these boosters out bro okay listen you're deliberately dense you're out of touch and the community has echoed the same sentiments for over half a year if only you just listen but you're only hearing things now that they're coming from your specific favorites? You don't deserve these players. I don't believe that people should play this game. I think we should all just watch you continue to dig this grave that's more than deep and wide enough for you and all your mountains of things. That's a Tracy Chapman reference, by the way. But you people just keep digging. Damn. The community is made up of more than yes men that you decide are nice enough to spotlight or, you know, put the mic under, homie. You asked for bugs and I edited six videos. Not just my experiences, but the community's experiences. Nine months ago, I'm telling y'all how to make money. Six months ago, I'm articulating exactly what y'all need in this game. Months ago, again, I'm telling you what patrol needs to succeed. And at this point, I know I'm not the only one having people reach out to them asking to use their footage. But maybe I am. Because many other people are just mindlessly consuming. Crystal Dynamics, good luck. Beta testers, I want to play with you and I want to have fun. I know Future Revolution is a mobile game and maybe that's not some of your style, but when it inevitably comes out, man, why not? You know, if it's free especially, when we live in a world where Fortnite is doing better than a game like this at representing Marvel, from now on, when I'm capturing footage in Marvel's Avengers, I'm gonna stream either here or to Twitch, so follow me on Twitch. And if you want to show me things, you want to send me stuff, you want to play with me, I'm right here. I'm proud of each and every one of you. I'm sorry that some of you have had to open your mouth and demand and fight for what is right, for fair treatment, for a functional product. It's eight months later, and this game, and this is what blows my mind, is in worse shape than it was a few patches ago. That's what's fucking ridiculous.